Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Clarifying Catholicism, where today on a Catholic Chat, our series of interviewing students and their faith experiences, uh, we're going to be talking about a matter that's uh, quite serious, but also very relevant today in the Catholic Church. So today we're interviewing someone whose uh, sexuality is what our culture might refer to as uh, bisexual or even pansexual in, in that regard. And he's uh, very willingly agreed to come and uh, show up on the show today uh, anonymously, so I'll be asking the questions and right here we'll have a little graphic to represent him, but you'll be able to hear his voice uh, quite clearly. But we definitely appreciate his time today. So before we get into this, I'd just like to clarify that the Catholic Church teaches love and acceptance of all peoples, regardless of uh, sexuality. And in fact, I would go as far as to say that the Catechism stresses a particular importance in reaching out and loving those of uh, different sexual minorities, or anyone who is vulnerable or in a position of vulnerability in our society is someone that we should be reaching out to on a daily basis. That being said, marriage is specifically reserved in the Catholic Church for a man and a woman. That's due to the nature of marriage being unitive, procreative, and sacramental. Three aspects that have withstood the test of time. Because marriage is supposed to be a celebration not only of love between two people, but it really solidifies the sanctity of what it means to come together and have a relationship as only a man and woman can in having children. And that, that's just a huge game changer for the church and the entire process of having kids. Marriage really is, in its purest sense, a, a celebration of our biology. It's amazing that God created man and woman to complete each other not only physically, but also emotionally, psychologically, um, and in every manner uh, possible for sure. So, you know, that's where marriage is in the Catholic Church, but at the same time we have to ensure a constant respect and support of all people regardless of uh, what they identify as sexual. And again, our, our friend here today on the show is uh, what our culture and society might label as uh, bisexual or pansexual in some cases. So uh, thanks for uh, being here today. How are you doing? Oh, very good. Very good. Oh, that's good. And 